Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Cutting Up with Bay. Today, we're going to do a quick tutorial on making pot roast. It's super cheap, it's super fast, and it's super easy. Now, you can use any tough cut of beef when you're making a pot roast. So you can use like a top round roast, a bottom round roast, a chuck roast. I know the terms are like, huh, what is she talking about? But trust me, I'll grab a roast that's anywhere from like 10 to $12. I don't care what name it say. As long as it's a beef roast, I'll grab it, I'll bring it home, I'll wash it and clean it, and then I'll season it. I'll throw in some seasoning salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, maybe some chili, um, a little bit of adobo seasoning or saison. And then once I've seasoned the meat, I'll throw it into my nice and hot cast iron skillet. And I got to make sure that my skillet has a little bit of oil in it. So that way, you know, everything will just cook really quick. And when I say cook, I don't even really mean cook, cook. I just mean I want to sear the seasonings in on both sides. So you're going to cook the roast for like three to five minutes on each side until it's brown. So once you've done that, you're just going to transfer the roast to a baking pan here. And if you have beef broth, that's even better. If you don't, that's fine. I use some water. It depends on the size of your roast. You just want to make sure you have enough beef broth or water to fill up halfway to the roast. So from here, I threw in a packet of Lipton. I threw in some peppers. I threw in a little bit of hot sauce and just a tad bit of soy sauce, just a little dab. And from there, all you really need to do is put in some onions maybe that's chopped up. I throw in some garlic. Again, you guys may know this or you may not know this, but I really don't stick to traditional rules when it comes to recipes. Like I'll stick with the gist of the recipe, but damn it, if I want some onion, I'm gonna add some onion. If I want, you know, something else that's not part of the traditional recipe, I'm gonna throw it in because either that's what I want or that's what I have, or I know that whatever I'm adding is gonna make it taste good. So for everyone who's like, hey, that's not traditional, no Mississippi pot roast. Yeah, yeah, simmer down. This is the Chef Bayway, all right? <laughs> so basically, like I said, I threw in some onions, I threw in some garlic, just everything to make this flavorful. And I mean, hey, you can't get any better than cutting up some butter and throwing it on top. So that's exactly what I just did. And from here, I'm just gonna put some foil on top of this and I'm gonna throw it in the oven on 350 degrees. I let it cook for about maybe four hours or so. I checked it about every hour and I took a spoon and I, you know, basted the juices over the roast and just making sure that the roast didn't overcook. Um, the cooking times will kind of vary um, based on the size of the roast, but generally it's about three hours or so. If you're using a crock pot, you can actually let it go a little longer since the settings on a crock pot is lower than the ones on an oven. But, you know, I let it cook. I kept my eye on it. And as you can see, it is so tender and delicious. Um, you can tell when your roast is starting to get done. You can kind of feel if you poke it with a fork how it's starting to get tender. So about 30 minutes before I felt like it would be ready, I threw in some carrots and some baby potatoes. And they came out really, really tender. The roast came out really, really good. So, you know, in a nutshell, that's the recipe. I want to thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for rocking with me i love every single one of you guys leave me a comment below and subscribe and i'll chat with you guys later peace out bye bye